Hello everyone, we went down here and welcome back to Let's Play Lords and Villains. In today's episode, we are going to, well, work on our uh, new manor that we are building over here. And I think we need to clean up something in the, um, in the village. We are waiting for, I'm actually not 100% sure what's the next profession that we would like to get. I think a butcher would make sense because we already have some pigs being tamed down here. Um... And that would also give us another source of food, because as you, if you look over here, um, food is okay-ish, but a large pro portion of the food that we are going to get will be uh, will be given to uh, to the king in uh, in autumn. And what I'm wondering is, what the hell is the farmer family doing? Why is there nothing being planted? Let's take a look. Um, well, because nothing <laughs> they have currently assigned is, yeah, has a season. So we want to have them to build, to make weed whenever there is weed season. And when they are out of weed season, we could make them, yeah, I think we don't need barley yet. But rice would make sense. So wheat and rice, um, someone that always produces either of, the, of, of these two, I think that makes sense. Um, those are some very basic food sources. So they should now ideally go ahead. Yeah, they are planting rice. That's perfect. Okay, they are planting all the vegetables. That's also fine. Um, what about... Uh, let's see, the family... Um, they have lots of potatoes. I don't know why, because I think we, we gave it to them. Yeah, so for some reason, wool is still not taxed. But yeah, that makes sense, because we cannot use it. So ideally, I think... Um, oh, I, di I think we gave some, right? Yeah, let's change the priorities for that. Um, I asked the developers about this priority system, and... It is currently implemented the way um, that I would like it to be. So um, if we say one cloth is two silk and four yarn, they will try to produce one cloth and two silk and four yarn and or try to maintain a stock of some of, of this ratio. Um, we are only running into issues if, for example, uh, we cannot make enough yarn. So before they start sitting around and do nothing, they will then use the yarn they have and make silk out of it. So they always try to work and not just sit around. Um, other thing I would like to do is we need to... Oh, we wanted to move this part of the road. So let's go ahead and build stone tiles. Right here. We will then um, edit this, and we will also edit that part of the zone. Let's bring this all the way to... It's a really tiny shop, to be honest. But let's bring it up to here, I think. Um, we will then remove parts of the manor, just like that, and increase this. Okay, so that's good. Um, yeah, next up, let's, let's take a look at the storage. We don't need that much storage right here. I would like to build something that looks like a barn for the farmers. Um, no, wait a second. Let's cancel all of that. Speed up the game. I want to see. I want to see better. Um, so at the moment, yeah, the farm has a really weird location. To be honest. Oh, there we have the butcher. Okay, so uh, don't worry about the farm. Uh, we now have a butcher and they will get, I think, this part of the of the manor. So let's go ahead and we will 
um, remove all of this and then we will give a household right here so that's going to go to the butchers the butcher family and then the next thing is a butchery and that will basically be this part right here. I'm not entirely sure about the zoning. Something like this. Um, and then we will assign that to the butcher's socket. Let's, let's go with, I don't know, 30% again. Okay, so now um, we need to deconstruct some stuff. First of all, we need to deconstruct all of that. I also want to deconstruct this part of the roof. And I want to deconstruct the floor right here. Um, we can then deconstruct all of this storage area right there. Um, and then make this a wall. No, not there, over here. All of that should be walls, that should be fine. Any wooden walls right here. No, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Uh, we can keep this a door. That's the way for the butchers to reach the butchery, so that's fine. Uh, I want to have this a wall. Yeah, and then we'll just salvage all of that. Get rid of all of these. Um, remove all of that roof. Remove all of that flooring. And I'm not sure if we need to deconstruct all the um, all the furniture by hand. Uh, so how much people do you have? Six people. Oh, wow. So you definitely need more housing space. So let's do, let's give you this as well. And then more walls, just like that. Flooring, not here. And of course, plated roof, just like this. And then maybe it's a good idea to start with the uh, with the work items. So what does a butcher need? You need a butcher's table. That makes sense. Or maybe it makes even sense to have the butcher table um, on the outside. Yeah, I want to have it like there. Uh, move the door over by one. Make this into a wall. Um, a neck. Yeah, that's the one that um, we're dead bodies will be brought to dead animal bodies that's fine the feet i think the oh, butchers can can get um wait a second can you have your own no you can't why do you need a feeder that makes no sense well we'll see um we'll then of course need shelves so let's add maybe three shelves in here and then the meat hooks and yeah, we cannot, uh, we can't reach this one. Storage. Yeah, let's salvage this. Let's salvage all of these. We need to turn them. Ah, no, you cannot reach that. Okay, so we need to salvage this first. Okay, now we can salvage that as well. Okay, so now meat hooks. Um, yeah, let's do something like this. We we'll have meat hooks everywhere right there. And then we'll just have a shelf 
over here. And now, um, yeah, I want to increase the size of the butchery a little bit to maybe right here and also increase the size of the house to right there. No, wait a second. Yeah, not like this. Okay, and now we can... Um, what do I have a fence around here? A wooden fence. Just like this. Like this. Uh, and then a fence gate right here. All of this should be wooden walls. Don't need walls right here. Don't need walls right there. Okay. So now I'm really curious to see what's going to happen. Um, we'll add some ground storage. Oh, wait a second. First of all, we'll add the wooden block right here. And then we will add some ground storage. Um, add ground storage right here. Okay, I, I think I know it's a, a pretty a cozy um, butchery. But that's fine. I think that should work. Another baker. No, we don't need bakers. What's the bakery doing? Bakery, I think, is looking good. So, um, we have another child being born. Uh, oh, for the farmer family. That's awesome. Um, let's give it... Um, maybe not a straw bed. I want to have wooden beds. I would like to make everything... Um, let's see, expensive. No, this needs silk. I want to make everything out of wood. So, that we have something for the foragers. That they can work on. Um, let's also go ahead and change the wooden table to a good wooden table. Um, and the wooden bench. Do we have a good wooden bench? I don't see one. But we have the good wooden chair, so maybe what we can do is instead of having bench we will have two chairs right there that should work and why are you not doing anything well I, I guess they are waiting um, that's fine okay let's wait so what about this area is there something we can do over here I don't see anything um, Take a look at the butcher table. Wait, what did you just butcher? Was this a sheep? Someone eating the sheep? Oh man, he's selling the he's selling the pig, I think. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh, there's also a sheep in the storage over here. I hope that this is just wandering over there and not stored. That would be gross. Uh. Yeah, I think he, he sold the pig to the butcher. Dude, that's crazy. I like it. What do we have here? Wooden rods. Oh, he's... He's storing sausages and he also... We now have 148 meat lying around. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, he's... She's a butcher... Oh, she butchered the... Butchered the pig. Okay, now... And dead animals are stored over here. What's your problem? Wandering around. Okay. I really like that. Well, it's, someone is, is killing animals, so... As, as good as you can like that, but uh, I like how it is um, 
implemented in the game. So you can actually see that someone is bringing the the animals over here, and then uh, they get stored in the in the neckery. Um, that's lovely for a game. I like it. Um, so what do we do next? We need beds. How much people are living here? Six. So we will have uh, one double bed, and then just let's. Um, I think what we what we should do is we should add single beds. Or maybe we can do something like this. Then just one wooden double bed in the center right here. Um, kitchen will go over here. So we'll have cooking table and cauldron right next to each other. Where is the cauldron? Right here. Uh, they have a wooden block. They have a well. That, that should work. Um, we can then have shelf, barrel, chest like this maybe a second barrel should work and then we can oh we can do the table thing again we can have a table right here i think and if we put in chairs everyone should be able to sit i, I guess i guess that's true yeah the I think you can't climb the wooden chairs, so ideally this area should not be, um, or should be reachable. We'll see. Let's fast forward and see what's happening. Um, or maybe what we can do, maybe we can add a storefront to the butcher as well. I just don't see a space for that. It's really, yeah, I think the butcher, oh, someone is starving again. Who is it? It's the Fizzroy family again. That seems to be a common theme. Let's take a look at the market presence. So, wait, you want to sell all your stuff? Wait, what? You have potatoes, you have carrots, you have corn, you have a ton of planks and wood, and you have three gold. Why are you starving? What's happening? I th Maybe you don't have... Oh, they don't have a wooden block. They cannot make firewood. How did that happen? Okay, so you need the wooden block right here. You know what? We'll also give you a well right here. So come on. Build that. Build the block and then start cooking. Oh, stupid me. Yeah, I think they had this area before. Okay, now they're making firewood and now they start cooking. All right. Yeah, now let's give them a well. Dude is doing firewood. Perfect. Yeah, okay. So that was on me. I screwed that up. Okay, animals are tamed. I think that should be more pigs. Okay, so that's looking good. So uh, we need more carrots. Let's take a look at the priorities. Um... Just do more carrots for the moment. What else? Yeah, I think we should skip um, cheese and we need more fish. How about your yarn? Do you have... Well, they already built a second one. So they had enough money to buy yarn for one fishing net, which is good. Someone is not having enough storage. Who is it? Uh, the farmer family. What are you trying to store? Uh, it's not the food. Maybe it's just ground storage again. Yeah, I think what we should do is um, edit the zone. We'll remove all of this area. Um, demolish this. The wooden block should also move. What 
have the wooden block over here and we can also add a well so that way some more money for the um <clears throat> what's it called for the mason and then we'll make this no not delete wait a second we'll make this farm bigger all the way to here And then, I think we can just move lots of the, uh, of the ground storage over to here, like this. And then all of that storage should go. No, we don't need more foragers, we already have enough of these. Um, uh, again, village is starving. Need to take a look into that. Who is it now? That's the Mason's family. Okay, you have a wooden block, you also have firewood. So you really are just out of food. So let's take a look why. The mason. Um, no, no, yeah, what's your accounting report? You produced a lot of stone blocks. Oh, and they are not bought yet. So wait, maybe what we can do Oh, where's the mason? Over here. Yeah, let's add stone tiles back to the menu. So now they have something to do. Um, yeah, they are selling stone blocks and stone tiles, but nothing is built out of stone yet. They don't have any... Yeah, they don't have any food. So yeah, we can grant them some emergency food for the moment. Um, what can we grant? We can grant them... Food is really low, to be honest. Let's grant them 150 cabbage and 200 potatoes. And then we need to build more stuff out of... Um, out of stone um i have an idea let's see Let, let's tr look again um which family has the most money um it's not the farmers <laughs> okay wait a minute we don't have any money Really? How can that be? Yeah, we give we we gave you some some food. You just need to pick it up, right? So yeah, so they should be fine. Another child was born. Why don't we have any money? Oh, I guess because our um, we demolished. I think we demolished the chest. So that's why everything's in the pocket. Um, let's go ahead and build another chest. And the chest will go... Yeah, I'll have two chests right here. Let's see, is this still the masons? Yeah, it is. But they should get food any second. Yeah, let's wait for that. Material is fine. Let's all let's only get uh, keep an eye on the food. So, are you going to the warehouse and grab some food? Everyone is working over here. Did we grant it to them, or did I do something wrong? Did I grant it to the wrong family? 
Oh, maybe I did. Whoops. Come on, someone pick up the food. Here we go. So now someone should start cooking. They do. Okay, perfect. So that's fine. They're now also starting to work on that. Okay, and now the, the plan was to figure out which family has the most money. And that's still us, so we have we have too much money. Um, okay, what can we do against that? <laughs> against having too much money. Um, yeah, you should go and eat. Can we just grant money to people? I don't know if that works. Oh, we can. Well, maybe then we can just grant two gold to each of the families. It's it sounds weird, but I, I think that might work. I think I, I think I screwed up in the beginning um, with these duetry. OK, they have more than one gold. So everyone that has more than one gold, they have four gold. Okay, so the farmers are rich. The P family is rich. They have also two. They have two gold as well. The millers. The millers have nothing. Okay, so that's not good. Need to figure out what's going wrong there. Um, can also grant. No, not straw. What do you need? Grain. One hundred grain. Here you go. Welcome. Um. Then the raven knot, that's the masons, they also don't have anything. They have lots of money, the miners, that's fine. Um, the bakers have lots of money, that's also good. Uh, that's the tailors, the tailors have one gold, so that's okay. And the butchers... Yeah, butchers are drowning in money. That's good. Okay, so. Um, the richest family was the Peef family. That were you. So what we are going to do with you is um, we will give you access to this zone, which means that lying down uh, stone tiles everywhere is not something that you should do. Okay. They have a weird home, to be honest. But, well, it, it works. So, they're producing rice. There's also lots of... Um, maybe the marketplace is also starting to be a little bit small. Um, let's see, we can delete all of this, I think, and then we can just make the marketplace bigger. Let's give that stone tile flooring uh, double, just like this, um, and then... Let's delete this zone. Don't need the manor any longer. Um, we wanted to increase that in size as well. We'll do this later. Um, they don't, also don't have any money. So that's not good. Okay, so now they are bringing stuff over here. Uh, let's increase the size of the market all the way to down there. One, two, three, four, that's five. Okay, in that case, I don't want that flooring. Cancel. All of this. I don't need more masons, uh, but I do want to have more wooden walls. All the way to right here. And all the way to here. And we have a door in here. 
and then this marketplace will now need more storefronts and this time storefronts will go that way and over here we will just do some decoration items so let's go to furniture um, we can have a fireplace right here would like to have oh steel rods we don't have steel rods um, we can have I don't know two candles right here and then maybe let's build the the storefronts as we used to have them just like this just five of them that should be good okay and then we will increase size of the butcher zone to here and size of your house all the way to here and then we can remove some of the uh, double walls so that should be fine Let's speed up the game again can have walls over here salvage this should there's something that needs more planks nope Let's go with spruce. Spruce looks good. Just like that. I think we should have oak down here, so we'll stay with that. Animal tamed. There's still people with insufficient storage. Okay. So I think do something like that uh, not no the millers don't have that much money oh inaccessible structure you can't reach the chair Or maybe this needs to be a uh, this, this needs to be a bench so you can access it from the back yeah maybe that's it I don't know let's see okay marketplace is now taking oh you are just not able to leave this spot because it's now oh that was bad um yeah we need to have a new a spinning wheel and that should be oh no that's weird um need to salvage this and then have the spinning wheel sit at exactly that location yeah, she, she cannot access the bed or the, the chair because she's stuck in the corner. I'm sorry. Yeah, start doing this first. Okay, so now we need a new spinning wheel. Perfect. Okay, that's that's awesome. Also, I, I just realized that maybe um, maybe we can delete all of this. Let's let's salvage that first and that next. Uh, dude, are you serious? Remove that. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was that was not very clever, but it's okay. Um, oh no, not spruce. What oak? 
Yeah, so let's do oak over here. And then let's let's salvage these two things. Uh, don't need another tailor. Actually, I'm not sure what we need because uh, we have our um, we have the butcher. So I'm not really sure what we will need right now. Do this. Okay, things are starting to look pretty good. Um, let's construct one final wall right here. Salvage this part. And I guess... Let's get rid of all of these messages. And then we are at the end of this episode. Well, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Oh, by the way, look at the mansion. That's looking cool. See you next time. Goodbye.